Hey guys, um, we're starting it. <laughs> so the first thing um, I did, I went through, did, it, did an inventory of all the parts. The first couple of pages list all the, all the parts in the book and everything. So you list all the parts. And when I did that, I went through the boxes, the inventory parts, and on the and uh, on here, I listed the sprue num sprue letter or number of every part. So this this list the parts of which are in this box. So when I need to look for a part, I just need to look for look for that that sprue on this box. It just helps it speeds it up instead of looking through every single sprue. This way if as long as you keep that sprue into this box, you know where to find it. So it's a uh easy way to catalog it and everything like that and, and speeds it up. So the first things in the thing they want to assemble is the boats. Um, it gives you a lot of boats. <laughs> There's a lot of boats in the box. But the problem is, um, on the Yamamoto and the, and the Musashi, her sister, all the boats were kept internal. Uh, There's no boats on the deck because if they fired the main guns, it would destroy the boats from the concussion. So all the boats were internally stored inside the ship. Um... I might, I'm thinking about maybe modeling when one of the doors open with some boats and stuff like that. But they want you to do the boats first, but I'm going to put those off to last. The next thing they want you to do is the airplanes. And same thing, I'm going to leave these for the last. So if I do them, if they get laying around for a while, they get damaged and stuff. So I'm not, I'm not going to worry about them. So uh, the first, uh, first thing, looking at the model, is... Uh, now it seems it actually it's two pieces, and the only thing holding it together is these aluminum struts. So I went through and glued and sealed up the internal parts. So now it's it's a solid. It's solid. It's glued together. It's solid. Uh, and basically, they just talk about make sure it's sealed and so Next pages. We start putting stuff onto the model. But there's a couple things I want to do first. On the side of the model, uh, they got the portholes. But they got some which are open. So what I'm thinking about doing is drilling those out. And I'll fill them back in with um, some clear uh, clear crystal. That, so it look like an open porthole. So I'm, not, I'm going to do that. I'm going to drill those out. And the next thing they do is they want you to put the... The back deck on, and put some, and get some photo etching put onto that. So, what I'm going to do is just we drill these out. There's there's quite a few, and uh, so it's it's one of those little things that you probably don't have to do, but that way you put the clear in there. This it just gives it a different look and stuff. So yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, So I'll do that. I'll be. I come back later, in the, for the next step. All right. Uh, so far, uh, I drilled out the uh, the port holes that look like they needed to be open. I got that done, and also, I, I drilled out here. This is, I believe is for the for an anchor chain. That's that. It was is actually solid. So I just drummed that out. Got that out. So make it a little bit more accurate. So that's all I got to do for, for this for the hull right now. So I'll put everything back in the foam. I can set that over here all the way. Ugh, thing is so big. It's almost awkward, but so you keep the pet box, boxing foam. The next, I um, they say, they say that to install this on the ship, then do it. But I'm going to all, all, all I'm doing this, I'm putting some photo etch here for the rails down here in the hangar and up here. So I'm going to do this, then install it. It may, it may make it a little, a little bit easier. So, um, photo etch, I'm going to need. E, part E, and I'll get that. I'll be right back. 
And uh, another thing is that when you go through a market and everything, I also mark the bags too. So, so this is part uh, photo dash part E. And what I did, I just marked the bag, so it makes it easier to find too. So, get this open. And on the photo edge, they are numbered. So, and one thing with, with this brand, th they uh, put layers to clear to protect the, the photo edge. On the front and back, it helps protect it. Also, one thing other, other, other guys have pointed out, when you take these off, a lot of times with these, when you get the last one, the part goes shooting, but with without a sticky back, it will hold it in place. So how, how to remove it, you need a hard surface. Take your part. So what we're gonna be doing is, I'm gonna start low and work my way up, so. I'm going to show you how to do one. So we need part uh, E11. So on here, I need number 11. Ten, there is 11. So. Some photo X snips. So, 11. This is. Into it. Yeah, having a good. There's different ways you can take it off. You can use your knife, do it and stuff. But I got Perry snips. Actually worked out quite well. Never used these before, but they do work quite well. They're really, really sharp. So you have to. All right, now slowly pull it off. We have this is actually uh, two of them. It's a uh, the high surface and you need to all right so a couple things he's uh take a take a file yeah You just got to file down the the burrs. It's a hard to hold. Yeah. This is the a little bit tedious part with photo etch. You got to clean it up. And sometimes you get lucky and the There we go. So. Well, it's 
not a rush job. It's just you just got to take your time and make sure you get all the burrs. Get that side and flip it over. And you need pliers to hold it. These are photo etch. To me, I got some other. But you need ones without any grooves. They have to be smooth on the inside. And then you just work your way down. So you clean all. Get all the burrs. Oops. A little bit too high. I need a little bit closer. There we go. The fine stuff, yeah, you gotta be you gotta be careful. So yeah. Oops. Oops. Thought I had it. Yep. So this is a learning experience. There we go. Yep, I missed this side, so. Put it in there, so just a, right. Yeah, run your hand over it if you feel a little bump. Go back and get it. All right. Oh, a little burr right there too. All right, now. This one piece is actually, this double hat needs to be folded in half. There are special um, jigs you can get, but I haven't got one yet on the way. So that's, there you go. So I got a pair, this is a pair of pliers, but it's smooth on the inside. So what you need to do, this is doing it by hand. You just need the line some up and bend. What you can do also, um, if you can find it, was cut kind of duck bill pliers, and you can do the same thing. You just get on each of the, the connections that bend. And slowly just work your way up. Slow. Work your way down, fix any out of place. There you go. Down. I'm, just, I'm just kind of flattening it out, make sure it's all down. Now you want to do once you get it bent, you need to take some sanding paper because the thing with it. It's brass, so you have a good chance of um, paint coming off of it because it's so smooth. So, all you need to do is get two sizes of sandpaper. Take a corso and put it down. 
like the finer one. And all you're, all you're doing is just, you're putting a little, roughing it up a little. Oh, and I also got some uh, primer that's going to go on this too. But that can go on before. It's, it's, it's a, I'm Mr. Hobby, it's a metal primer. So it's made to go on metal. So when you put your regular primer on, it's going to hold. But the rough also helps out too. So there you go. It's not much, but just enough to break the smooth of it. So, on the my figure, this is the one that's going to go right there. So, I'm going to get some glue. So, okay, I got cyanoalkylate or fast drying glue. And I'm going to use it. I got a hypodermic needle. And I'm going to use this to, to place the super glue um you can use a toothpick or uh, they also make other things but what this does you can you can take the glue and you can actually place it exactly where you want it yeah you just go down Right though. Right. Yeah. Uh, what's this? Pair tweezers. Yeah, this is where it takes it's gonna take some practice. But how much stuff I got to put on here? All right, it's, it's good. Huh. Tweezers bent. That may be the problem. There we go. Fighting with things. All right, we're having that problem. It just doesn't want to fit. What was it? Use some instant set. Yeah, we get a toothpick for this and this goes and I do this is my toothpick get the the rail in place
Yeah. Some some dull work going on, but So this is get the last parts in, fighting me all the way. There we go. There. Oops, that's too much. Let's split open down there. But that's not going to be seen because they got hangers. Okay. It's not going to be seen. So I don't have to worry about it. So I'll get the one, one in. I got lots more to do. So I'll keep working on that. We'll come back. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'll show you when I'm finished. Well, okay, everyone. Um, as you can see, I, I got the, the lower rails in. Uh, even though most of these are not even going to be seen because the deck goes here and there's doors that go here. It's still good practice to work. So, just to get practice in, um, doing everything. Uh, yeah, the only thing I use, uh, I use hypodermic needles, <laughs> like this. One, because they got such a fine point, you can dip this in the super glue and put this right onto the spot that we need it. So you just, there's no overflow, so you got exactly where you want it. So you put a little dab of this, put the rail down. The other needle, I, ha I have um, quick set in it. So you just, as you're holding it now, you just go over that, you just put a little drop, it just goes in there and it hardens right up, so. It's a quick way of do doing it without making no mess or anything like that. So this step's done. Um, it's, a, it's just the beginning. Um, so this is I got uh, page one done <laughs> with, with these rails. So the next episode is going to be page two, two or three or four. It depends on how far I get uh, on this build. So I said this is this build just begun. So uh, until later, have you guys have a good night. Hit the like button now down below down here. Hit it somewhere down here. Hit, hit, hit the like button. That really helps out. So okay, guys. Have a good night.